Hey, I'm Trey. Some serial killers are made through painful life experience. Today's story is about a serial killer whose killings progressed over the course of time, fueled by his own painful experiences. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. If you're ready, let's get started. nineteen thirty in the country of Austria, a man by the name of Franz Schmitz was born. His mother, whose name was not provided, was unmarried and worked as a housemaid. During her time, she had an affair with her married employer. No names were provided for either one of them. The father denied responsibility and the mother was unable to take care of a child on her own, so baby Franz was put up for adoption. Being disconnected from his mother at an early age caused him to show little emotion or empathy for others. This is possibly the reason why he didn't have too many friends growing up. He was eventually adopted and sent to a trade school for carpentry. When he graduated, he met a woman whose name was not provided and they dated for a short time. She became pregnant and they got married soon after. France lived a simple life where he would only go to work and come home to his family. Occasionally, he would go for long walks by himself throughout the city, returning home hours later. In 1957, somewhere within the city limits, a home was engulfed in flames and it was determined that it was intentionally set on fire. A woman within the house was sleeping at that time and she was awakened by the thick smoke. She attempted to flee the home but it was engulfed so much in flames that she couldn't get out. The woman survived but with massive severe burns all over her body, now leaving her with a handicap. Witnesses stated that they couldn't identify the actor but it was definitely a man that was last seen running from that location. On the same day and a short distance away from the fire scene, a body of a young male was found murdered in a nearby alleyway. The circumstances behind this homicide was unique. Although the male turned out to be a 14-year-old boy whose name was not provided, the killer impaled the child into the ground using a pitchfork. It was believed that the child was first struck on the head with the wooden end of the pitchfork knocking him to the ground. That's when the killer repeatedly stabbed the young boy with a pitchfork. After the killer was done, it was left embedded in the boy's chest. No motive was found behind the killing. The police identified that man as Franz Schmitz. He was brought in for questioning. During the interview, he confessed to the murder of the 14-year-old boy. While in jail, he also took it upon himself to inform the police that he was also responsible for setting the house on fire that severely burned the woman in her home. When asked why he did this by the authorities, he would only respond that something inside of himself told him to do this. He was charged, found guilty, and sentenced to life imprisonment plus eight years. Fast forward to 1984, a 39-year-old woman by the name of Gertrude Ryder was home alone with her three-year-old child. Her husband at the time was away at work while she was caring for their child. An intruder that had been stalking her for several days noticed the patterns of her husband's movements. As soon as the husband left, the villain entered into an open window and located the wife. The intruder encountered her and stabbed her in her torso a dozen times, killing her. And then the intruder cut off one of her breasts completely. Immediately afterwards, the actor then went into the baby's room and used the same knife to slit the baby's throat from ear to ear. The killer then left the residence the same way he entered, taking a couple of wristwatches and some jewelry. The husband came home later and found his entire family murdered. The police were notified and responded. They were baffled because there was no purpose to kill the child because the child could not identify the actor, so the police believed that the killer must have enjoyed the killing. That unidentified man turned out to be Franz Smith. He had been released from prison in 1981 on good behavior for the previous pitchfork homicide and the arson. A search was done of his home and a blood-stained shirt was uncovered with both the victim's blood that he kept as a souvenir. Also, several watches and jewelry from the murder scene were recovered. Franz was immediately arrested and afterwards he confessed to the double homicide. He was charged, found guilty, and given a life sentence. The authorities believed that he was responsible for the murder of a 13-year-old boy by the name of Andreas Pintus. He had been stabbed to death several times. An autopsy was done, and it was believed that the killer attempted to cut out Andreas's heart. This was based on the pattern of the stab wound. Also, his watch and jewelry was taken. When questioned about Andreas's murder, France would not confirm or deny his culpability. The authorities did not have enough evidence to charge him for Andreas's murder. Franz was released again in 2013 after serving a total of 53 years in prison at the age of 83 years old. If you enjoy more stories such as these, click on one of the suggested videos above. Also, I upload new content every Tuesday and Thursday. God bless you and stay safe.